Congratulations. How do you feel? I feel good. Thank you. So I'm not sure if you're aware um, that you set a record for the most knockdowns in a bantamweight fight. Are you aware of that? Yeah, they told me in the back. So does that make you feel like a certain way or is it just like, eh? It's expected. Really, it's expected. I'm a, I'm a bad man. So uh, you also set a record for the third most in all the UFC. Does that mean your next fight you're going to try and beat that record? Yeah, I try, to, I try to go out there and just try to do something, anything, anything that went uh, spectacularly or just uh, put that oomph on there. Like, there's no doubt, like, this guy's the winner right here. Was there any surprises in the fight? No. It, it wasn't no surprises. Uh, I, I kind of had it, like, kind of had him, like, figure it out, like, which type of profile guy this is. So it, it wasn't no surprise. And your opponent came up uh, to bat, or up, and so I'm wondering if you think that he should stay in this division or if you think maybe he should go back down. Styles make fights, and um, that's, that's like really pretty much up to him and uh, where his confidence lie at and uh, which you feel like he'll be big enough or strong enough to stay in the bed and weight division, but that's up to him. And when do you want to get back in there? Whenever they have me, pretty much, but... I just go back to the gym and just start back training. Like, I won't even worry about it. Like, if the call happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. And I would assume that it, same answer for who you'd want to fight, or unless you have someone in mind. It's just about the same. Thank you. Pretty dominant performance out there. You know, when you say you got to go back, you're just going to go back to the gym. Is there anything that you notice in the fight that you want to focus on and, and work on after? Uh, just uh, probably just more, more uh fluidity and uh, more combos and putting things together better and making uh, better reads. That's just about it. Speaking of combos, it was pretty nice, that little one-two, and then you followed up with the hook and dropped him afterwards. Are you surprised by his toughness as well? I mean, like, he, he, you dropped him quite a few times and he, and he kept popping back up. Are you, was there ever any point where you were just sort of like, man, what's it take to, to put this kid away? No. You, it, like, I've been in a fight game pretty much a long time, so... And I've, I've hit people hard, like, and don't, don't nothing surprise me when people get up. Like, you know, you just get the type of people that's, like, one of their tools is just being, like, resilient and being, being tough. So, like, that's one of his uh, attributes to his, uh, to his career, just being tough. So it don't surprise me. Did you have a specific game plan for him coming in? No, just go out there and see what he got to offer and, and, make, and, make, a, and, and make the adjustments and take advantage. Awesome. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.